one of the better named breweries we've ever had on the show it is here in, in Bloomington, Illinois. It's Lil Beaver Brewery. Uh, this is Chad Beavers. Beavers. Yep. Chad Beavers joining us here. So, I mean, of course you got to name the place Lil Beaver, right? Absolutely. I mean, you've heard all the jokes your whole life, I imagine, right? Less than you'd think. Really? Wow. Like, nobody's like, Ward, you're part of it. Where's Eddie High School? Yeah, I bet I've, you got that growing up. I've heard some of that. Uh, yeah. A friend of mine growing up, Dad, used to always call me Leave It To. Leave It To. Leave It To's here, and that was, that was about it. So. See, when I knew that we were coming to Lil Beaver Brewery, I was like, trying to figure out, like, connect the dots. Like, where do you, what is that related to? Because, I mean, there are plenty of rivers and creeks around here, right? It's not a big beaver part of the country here. <laughs> not a lot of not a lot of beavers in Bloomington Normal. Not so much. I had some friends who went to Illinois State, and they told me that was their experience. There you go. Um, but that's see, and that's the other thing too with a name like Little Beaver, you leave yourself open to all of the jokes. And I want you to know this: we're going to be making all of the jokes during this segment. You, like so many people on our show, got your start doing homebrew. Correct. Although it, it sounds like your your origin story is that you were at a brewery here in town. Yep. You started talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. Did they encourage you? No, uh, he just, uh, he, the beer that I had wanted was out, and we just kind of started chatting. I found out he was the brewer, and he offered to take me downstairs because I started asking questions. And about two hours later, I was hooked. So you go there to drink beer, they run out of beer, you start asking questions, and the next thing you know, you get a two hour master class. And you think, I'm going to start home brewing? Yeah. And you're thinking, okay, I don't know. Start doing this as a hobby, a way to blow off steam from what I have to mention was a very demanding and rewarding job. Uh, you start home brewing and then friends start giving you good feedback. Mm -hmm. it, it was really just a, a hobby. Again, I had no intentions of, of opening a brewery for, for many, many years. I mean, spoiler alert, he ends up opening a brewery. <laughs> like, I don't want to ruin the story, we're just getting started, but... You were never thinking, this is fun and No, and uh, you know, it was just something fun to do. I remember the first batch that I brewed. Uh, it probably tasted like crap, but at the time, it was just like this glorious thing that I created. What was the first, and, what was your first batch? Was or okay. something like that. Just like out of a kit? A or? kit, an okay. extract kit. I did it on my stove top. You know, uh -huh. I had to blend it with water and everything. Uh, but it came out drinkable, and then it just, I just kind of kept going and going and going. I will say this for kids, drinkable, that's like 99% of the game, and that, that's what 99% of us don't get right. So uh, so you make the beer, it's drinkable, you keep doing this. Yep. So I started serving my homebrew at this festival that I was also coordinating all the beer for. Right. Your product that you made, your, what was it called? What was the stout? Was it a stout? Uh, I had several. I, I actually did my own table. Okay. Um, so I had several beers, and the one that really made me have more fun than I ever had at the beer festival is uh, I did a big imperial stout that I called Big Hairy Beaver. Big Hairy Beaver. I, I, I'd like, can we keep count on score of all the, the beaver jokes that we're about to make here? Can we have like a running total? Um, so big, and, and Big Hat Hairy Beaver. People were so excited about the Big Hairy Beaver. Uh, help me out, Chad. What did they start to, and I, I'm going I'm to just take a sip while you tell us. What were people chanting at that beer festival? Tap that beaver. I'm sorry? Tap that beaver. And they were they kept chanting this? Oh yeah, line fifty plus people deep and it was fifty people deep yelling, tap that beaver, you say. <laughs> unprovoked, just having fun. How do we get to this place? Uh, a little over three years ago, at right about the same period of the year, I was a finalist for the Sam Adams Long Shot Competition. No way! Um, and then at the same time, I got a silver medal for uh, Spiced Imperial Stout and Great American Beer. Or sorry, the, uh, I, I can't even remember the name of it, the American Home Brew Festival. Right on. Um, which is the largest home brew festival in the world. Uh, and it was those two together that I was like, well, maybe I did totally radically different beers. Uh, but Sam Adams one is what you're drinking right okay, now. So okay, so explain this to me because this is phenomenal. So that one we call a little bit of wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is a chocolate milk stout with a lot of toasted coconut. So the, the, taste. The, coconut's a, the coconut's a note in beer that either really works or doesn't. So my motivation to originally brew it was I loved the idea of coconut beers and every commercial example that I tried just do this. You think you taste coconut? Right. You think you smell coconut? You it only because it says it on the label. Well, sometimes it's like you have to, you, you're thinking, am I tasting coconut or is it because it's on the can? Or sometimes you drink and you think, is this beer? Or have I just had suntan lotion? Right. Yeah. right? This is this is a perfect balance. Thanks. So this is the one that was almost a long shot winner for Sam Adams. Now the good news is you didn't win. And the reason that's good news is 
you couldn't sell me this beer if you want. Technically, no. This would belong to Sam Adams and not you. Yeah, but... It, You're you, lost, Sam Adams. You, really you got your, your, your dog head, but uh, you lost out on this. When people come and visit Little Beaver, what is it that separates this brewery from the other great breweries here in central Illinois? I think a lot of it is the unique variants and the styles of beer that we brew, and that's a lot of what we strive to offer. Um, our goal is that when somebody comes in here, that through the 10 beers that we always have on tap, everyone can find something that they like. Right. And it's very, very few times when we can't find something. So we always have some wheat beers, some you know light beers, some, some stouts, some hoppy beers, fruit beers. We try to always have a blend and we try to always keep it rotating. So uh, I always like to say if you come in once a week, you'll probably see at least two or three different tap handles. Right. Um, and we have a variety, you know, we're able to crank out that variety um, just through the processes that I've created over the years of home brewing and now commercial brewing. Um, to be able to keep making varieties of beer that everybody likes. Keep up the good work because this this is phenomenal and uh, Thank you. I can't wait to come back. Great. It's Lil Beaver Brewery here in Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, this is Chad and uh, cheers man, really. Thank you. Terrific stuff. Cheers. I think we can create some social good doing something we love to do.